here on our way down to Resolute DTG. Uh, we've got our printer that's basically um, broke down. Uh, we've had an accident in the studio. Unfortunately, our DTG printer was hit by a sign. Um, you know, uh, one of our member staff was taking the sign down. Not calling her name's name. <laughs> Now, they're taking a side that accidentally fell on uh, on the machine. So we're, we're up there. Hopefully, it's not too bad. But we're also on our way down to check out the new Rico printer. And then after that, we're going to be on our way down to um, make sure I don't miss a turning. We're going to be there on our way down to Express. So we're going to see that Rico RI 1000. We'll be able to compare the difference in speed between all of the printers, see which one works quicker, uh, which one is going to be more economical for us price wise. Uh, I know the Ricos are kind of like a high ticket price, uh, but um, well, after that we're hoping to head down to Rico, um, to Express to see a man like Ricky and uh, we're going to check out the Epson F2100 um, and, and check that out. We're At the moment, to be fair, we are more kind of steering towards um, the F2100 um, and uh, big up to Kenyon uh, and his videos because he, he's a bit big influencer in, uh, in, in convincing us that that printer is definitely good. I mean, we've been looking at the printer for a while now, but because I've never really been a massive fan of Epson printers yet, um, I've always been weary about buying Epsons and uh, uh, the, in the past we've had the old Resolute uh, Frankenstein style Epson printers uh, where obviously these printers are made for paper printing and they've modified them to take DTG inks and yeah okay great they do work but you can't, I'm sure you can't beat a printer that has been built from the ground up to print DTG inks because to be fair um, you know the heads are going to be made from scratch they're going to be made and tested with the water-based inks in the right environment in the right situations so uh, to be fair you're going to you know have a tried and tested with those inks and with inks that are formulated for the correct heads um, in those printers whereas with the Epson uh, printers the Frankenstein ones uh, the old when I say Frankenstein the paper printers have been modified for DTG uh, the inks have not really been um, you know tried and tested originally uh, so to speak when they were making the print head so there is going to be a difference you are going to get more in I'm predicting you are going to get more head clogs uh, and there's also lots of little snags that come along with these Frankenstein printers like you've got to trick the cartridges into having compatibles in there when you go to do a head clean uh, you'll find that the printer uh, tends to report the cartridges are not genuine and then you've got to start the head cleans all over again and that way you're wasting and you waste time and time is obviously money also ink some money uh, with the Epson printer I know for I know that it, it now has a cleaning cartridge in there which has cleaning fluid so when you run a head clean I'm assuming it doesn't I don't know I'm not printer engineer don't quote me in it comment down below if you know different but when you run the head clean um, it uses the cleaning fluid to clean certain areas or it does that with the daily maintenance of the machine I think that's just for the maintenance and not necessarily the head cleaner and I know on the Epson they people say that the Epson itself um, has um, starter cartridges but as far as I know it's not necessarily starter cartridges because I spoke to um, Express and they said to me when you first switch the Epson F2100 on it uses 25% of the ink for priming but obviously if it's priming then that means the ink is not actually gone it's still in the machine somewhere which means it can still be used because um, I've done the price check on the Epson and I know the inks are quite um, high um, in terms of uh, pri in pricing uh, but at the end of the day if you've got to do less head cleans and you've got to uh, you know have less head cleans cutting out on you and less maintenance means that you're going to be using less inks at the end of the day plus at the end of the day when I'm buying when, from what we found from the DTG is speed is very important as well because you know it's no good having this second printer and every time you get 20 30 shirts it's a day's work to bang them out so you know we're, we're looking for speed we're looking for economics we're looking for print size and most important we're looking for warranty trap reported ahead. we was uh, looking into getting cornet printers uh, cornet cornet whatever you, you comment down below you say oh, well, you're not even able to pronounce it on, on, uh, on, on, on messages but the cornet itself um, to be fair with a three month warranty uh, and an extended warranty of about 10 grand a year um, I don't quote me on that price but you know three months warranty is no good when you're buying a printer you want at least one or two maybe even five years warranty would be great you know if the products that great 
and as superior as Cornet say and it does look it don't get me wrong and I've seen the bulk and all these printers but why would you spend that sort of money on a piece of equipment that you've only got three months warranty with that to me is just suicide financial suicide um, you know if they're so sure that these printers are so great and they're you know they're, they're gonna be a big investment then why can't you have the printers uh, working with at least a, a year's warranty would be polite you know and just to guarantee that they work really well um, you know two to three years warranty because surely you know a lot of the times when you purchase these, these uh, printers they're expensive you're gonna get them on finance your finance is gonna be over five years so you'd like it to last and have the support uh, possible so guys we're on our way to Resolute we're hopefully going to either get our machine fixed or we're going to discuss potentially um, upgrading from this machine onto another one. Uh, the thing is about this machine, the chassis might actually be bent, that's the worst case scenario. And we are um, praying and hoping that it's just a quick fix, uh, but they won't know until they get into the workshop. So we're killing three birds with one stone, we're getting our printer dropped off, we're getting it checked out, and then we're going to Express, and we are going to uh, get this, um, have a look at this F2100 printer. So guys, uh, that's it for now. We're gonna update you, Mala Andre, or me and Andre rolling up there. We got, we got, we've hired this uh, Ford uh, car. It's absolutely wicked. Got sat nav, got flipping, everything you could want in. Nice comfort car, really economical, diesel. I don't know if it's uh, Euro 6, man, but I love one of these cars, man. This car's, this uh, seven seater. We got, if you look in the back there, you can see the old Resolute printer. It's, um, you know, not sitting there like a hearse on its way up to going to the hospital emergencies uh, we had to hire this to make sure that the printer is sitting comfortably in the back and uh, we've also got our pre-treatment machine which we uh, which we're returning which Resolute uh, uh, was kind enough to lend, uh, lend to us uh, Resolute I must say is a really good company uh, they've helped us out a lot um, even though we've had a lot of uh, teething issues uh, it turned out that we had we had the wrong inks for our environment we used the image armor inks uh, but unfortunately the image armor inks uh, were drying up in the machine before we uh, could get printing and get and could learn the DTG printing curve um, so we had a bit of a learning curve like I said uh, but if, if the inks didn't dry up in our printer it would have made life a lot easier so we've changed now we are changed over to Camtex inks and we've had a lot less problems since then um, and uh, things are looking good so we can still keep that resolute machine but it like I said if the chassis bent things are bent apparently they, the registration is not going to be the same so guys be careful if you've got we've got a DTG machine you take it down any signs make sure nothing falls on the machine man otherwise you know this was, this was a freak accident man and the uh, chance of that happening are you know very slim so signing out peace speed trap reported ahead Brian he's on the printers Andre signing out Peace out. Connected from your PC. Same rip software that you, you used to see. Yeah. <coughs> Same one there. So you've got cues and everything for that. Um, maintenance and stuff like that. Um, it's dead straightforward. You, you've got your, your nozzle check you can do. Head clean. Manual head clean.